good evening friends welcome to engineering clinic so today we are going to see the installation of apache mysql php in mac os m1 processor so i used a website bitnami.org b-a-t-n-a-m-i.org where i downloaded the software called as mamp m-a-m-p package by bitnami so i have taken two versions one of the version i have taken is 7.4 version and 8.0 i just discarded and i downloaded the 7.4.21 version so once you download it it will be downloaded as a bundle package and this is how the way it download as a dmg package now once you double click over it then it will ask for the confirmation so once you give the confirmation uh, the bitnami start installing so for me the entire process took around 15 minutes then i installed it in my home folder of my mac os and then i set the username and password for the mysql database so usually mysql databases avoids giving uh, any symbol so please avoid giving any symbol as a password rather you give uppercase lowercase and any numbers then afterwards the installation proceeds so this installation click next and it takes some around eight to nine minutes to complete the entire installation process so once it is done the installation is done so now once the installation is over you can click next to start the server so the server will be starting in port number 8080 but in windows and linux it will be starting in port number 80 alone but here it starts at 8080 so to check the servers are running you can see that mysql and apache both are started running so inside the browser you can give 127.0.0.1 so our next procedure is to download the wordpress software so as you know that wordpress is a blogging software where we can able to write a content management system software so we can able to write blog post and we can write we can able to develop our own web pages or anything that based on content management we can able to do so once you download a zip file uh, in the wordpress it will be downloaded as a zip file so then uh, take that entire folder and then uh, move it to the applications map i have installed that on the applications folder so you just go to the applications folder so you can see that file go applications in the applications we have a folder called as mamp map so inside this map we have a folder called as apache so where you can go inside apache then ht docs ht is uh, hypertext documents there you can paste the entire folder wordpress folder is been pasted over there so once it is done so the entire wordpress content is there now we can go back to the url here 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 slash wordpress so we can append the wordpress at the end of this link so once it is done the wordpress is done it will be asking for uh, the installation first thing is which language you want to use i want to use english united states so now it, we have to set the database connectivities so for that we need to set up the database so now we can go again to php my admin that is php mysql admin so once we go there so the pass the username is root the password is hello123 that's what i have just given for temporarily and then i create uh, in the left hand side we have a new new button so you, once you create it you can select the database name so the database name i want to give as wordpress underscore the date of creation so i have just created uh, this on uh, 1st october i am just creating this 1st october so this is the name of the db now again come back to the installation page of uh, wordpress so once you come back there so you can uh, paste the uh, name of the database then username is root and password is this and database host is localhost since i am going to install on my localhost and name of the uh, prefix is uh, tsp then run the installation so once the installation is done then you can uh, mention the site title and the username for your wordpress website so the site title let me give as engineering clinic and the username is ts pradeep kumar i have just given that then the password so i can able to set the password by default there will be a provision of password in case if you don't like it you can uh, create your own password and then uh, you can able to set it up but please remember there will be there will not be password asked two times here the password will be only once so set your password accordingly or else you need to change the password through backend then you can give your email address there and since it, is, since it is locally i am just doing it so i am just not giving any email address here now afterwards uh, you can go and visit your uh, website so that is my blog 
on engineering clinic so i can uh, visit it by providing the username and the password we created in the previous step so this is your administration administrative username and password which i have created and i just logged into it so once it is logged in so you will get the uh, dashboard like this so in this dashboard you can able to create a post you can able to create pages you can able to create menus so many things you can able to do so for your understanding i am just creating a first uh, temporary post where in the, my first post i am just creating so in the first post i just mentioned my uh, youtube uh, url and then uh, just giving a small post here so from here you can start your journey on uh, blogging our content management system so there are many things that you can take care like search engine optimization digital marketing so all these things that you can able to do for right from right away from uh, this point so this is your starting point of uh, installing uh, apache server and uh, installing wordpress over a mac uh, m1 mini so i am just using my my uh, pcs mac mini which is of uh, m1 silicon so which is a rom controller so in many youtube videos and many posts uh, across the internet uh, there were uh, there are some in problems in installing the apache server in uh, m1 processor so which is a very easy cakewalk step here what i mentioned it here so please watch my video and please subscribe to my channel and share this uh, videos to your friends as well thank you very much Thank mm -hmm. you.